What's going on y'all, St. Piper here, aka Black Native. I'm feeling real good today, but I wanna know how y'all doing. Good, all things working for your good. That's good family, all things working for mine as well. Thanks for asking. Today's video, I wanna discuss some of the stuff that's going on in a community of woke, all right, the woke community, and some things that may not be actually beneficial that's going on. And I'm just here to enlighten the people that love the conscious community and the woke community and being a part of uh, the communities that claim to be uh, helpful to the woke people. I'm here to enlighten y'all and help y'all to think critically and be very uh, discerning when it comes to uh, the company uh, you keep and the things you entertain. So I've been a person in my life that avoided crowds for the most part. If I'm not performing or, or speaking or giving or teaching, then you won't find me in a crowd. Even when I walk with a group of people, I'm either in the front leading it or I'm in the back observing it. I'm pretty much an outsider. So I have some experience when it comes to being on the outside. I'm not very comfortable with being in any kind of group, especially if I didn't create the group. If I didn't set my intention on creating that group, then I'm usually not comfortable in being in that group. Whether it's a group that, you know, proclaims or professes to be positive, loving, caring, peaceful, or if it's a group that is obviously malevolent. That being said, a lot of people join and create these subsections of the woke community and the conscious community because they are the opposite of me and those like me. They love groups simply just because they love groups and they love of uh, being leaders and uh, telling people what to do and being trendsetters and just being better see it's hard to be better than somebody if you're alone it's hard to know if you're better than somebody when you're alone when you when you're doing your thing when you're independent when you focused on you it's really tough see a lot of a lot of the stuff i see going on in the world community has a lot to do with competition 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 and confrontation they want to prove who woke and who not how woke they are and how much better they are than the next person. That's not, to me, that's like the opposite. That's the complete antonym of woke. That's, it's not a competition to see who is the more awake individual on this physical plane. I mean, that's, 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 like, that's like watching two turtles run a race, you know, race on land, it's embarrassing if they were to actually brag towards each other about who's faster. That's what's going on. We are here on a physical plane. We are here because we have karma. We are here because we have karmic debt, which means we have work to do, which means we are not in ascension shape, which means we need to improve we are improving every day we are not in a position to be competitively antagonizing and putting people down because of the knowledge that we learned we didn't create this knowledge we are all learning the knowledge and its physical experience I find it very alarming that these days being woke is trendy. It's trendy and it's cool to be woke. Now, on the surface, you might say, man, duh, we want that to be like that. Why wouldn't we want it to be cool to be woke? My answer to you is whenever something becomes a trend, it's watered down, it's corrupted, it means almost nothing that it began to mean in, 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 when it first started. 
look at any large movement it's always hijacked it's always hijacked in any conscious community you can find people who are pimping society pimping those who know less proclaiming to be the greatest of all but yet their lifestyles don't show it it's one thing to, to admit that you are a work in progress it's another thing for some of these individuals to say that they are literally better than other people and that they are done like they are ascension material you're not ascension material you would have left already you're not ready you're not ready for the higher dimension or else you would be there trust me you have a mission you have a purpose even if you say well i came back to help the masses well you still haven't helped the masses because you would have ascended by this point in time so we still working we are all a team that's some of the things another thing when it comes to this whole community pay attention to the way they speak even when they do their videos you notice why do they always have to put the phone lower than them or why is the camera always looking up at them that's your point of view looking up at them if you are subscribed i'm not just saying in a youtube sense subscribe but if you are to subscribe to anybody in life and they're constantly looking down on you they're putting themselves in an authority role in your life in an authority role in your life they have you looking up to them they have you looking up to them literally that way you will always be under them you will always understand when i do my videos i do my best and you could go all the way to the beginning to put the phone above me so that whoever watches my videos they look at least eye to eye and sometimes my arm gets tired or they looking down on me because we are peers we are brothers we are sisters we are in this together that's my whole perspective that's why I put the phone above me and the camera looking down at me. It's not because I'm belittling myself. It's because I'm raising you up. I'm giving you knowledge to make you better, which means I'm handing, I'm giving you a hand. I'm adding to your life. So why would I have you looking up to me? It's just like those pastors. Pastors, why do pastors have to be up high? You can say, well, so we can see them. That's one reason. But you can see, you can, you can, it's not about seeing the pastor. It's not about being seen. It's about the message. That's why I could preach. That's why I could preach and teach and, and, I, and I could help people with these videos without even showing my face. It's called marketing. That's what they're doing. They're marketing themselves and they're subliminally putting you under them. This is some of the stuff that's going on in the woke community. And I've known this for a while. I've known this for a while. Another issue besides people subliminally brainwashing you and putting you in a, a position of inferiority, which means fear. But that's a whole nother video. I'm not going to get into that. They, they actually put you in a position. They victimize you. That's a lot of victimization going on in a woke community. You can't be woke and a victim. It don't work like that. You can't be aware of what's going on and have conscious, uh, conscious um, inclinations about power, dealing with knowledge, and you feel as if you're a victim of something. That's not how this works. That's not how this works. How is that possible? You know, that's not possible for you to be woke, whatever that means. I don't even know what woke means, but it's not possible for you to be a black native working towards ascension, working towards uh, being a complete being. That's what I hope woke means. I'm just saying, I don't even know what woke means. What's the point of being awake and seeing what's really going on and still being, being stuck in your old ways? 
So I don't even know, there's no value on woke, honestly. But to be a complete being means a black native, which means you working towards ascension. West, how can you be a victim? How can you be a victim? You, Because at that point, you have a firm grasp on how this all works and what's really going on. And that's all I'm going to say about that on victimization. Then you have other woke individuals. They battle each other. Why are y'all battling each other? How are you battling your brother when the knowledge is the same? It's all facts. If you're speaking the truth, you speak the truth. Just speak it. You don't have to persuade your brother. You don't have to debate your brother or your sister or your auntie or your uncle. Why would you debate them on the truth? If you know the truth, speak the truth. But, you know, Black Native, Piper, you know, what if I'm a, what if I'm a, a, a woke individual and I'm trying to and I'm and I'm stopping a false prophet? You know, I'm 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 talking him down. That's a way to do that. Yahweh is the only is is the only source of of persuasion and correction. Anything that comes from us is is not is not. So you don't have to prove somebody wrong. You don't have to do that yahweh yah does that you don't have to get into debates you don't have to get into these public battles as grown individuals proving who's more woke than the next person because you know what you're just a distraction you're just as bad as the nfl you're just as bad as the nba at that point you're just as bad as drugs you're just as bad as things that's taken us away from the mental game in the spiritual world that's you're just as bad because for that split second for those little moments you out here battling your brother about the truth and the truth is the truth so you don't have to if everybody has their own journey and their own path so they're going to find the truth if they seek it and if y'all reveals it to them it's not up to you you can speak it and if they try to get into a debate with you let them stand there by themselves it takes two it takes two so don't give them the other the, the don't be the other person in that confrontation you see what i'm saying this is some of the stuff I'm seeing in, um, in the woke community. And I'm saying woke and I'm doing air quotes, okay? Woke with air quotes because I don't even know what woke means. Who came up with that? You know? But still, another, another thing, and this is a little bit of a rant, but it's really not as educational. There's massive discrimination in woke communities and conscious communities. Well, the black people are this, the white people are that. It's like, man, that's crazy. It's super crazy. Well, I believe in, I believe in this and I believe in that. But if you're really a black native and you're really studying the one true creator, if you're really studying the universe and if you're really open and you're really involved with all of, with all of the knowledge and all of the power then why would you be looking to separate that much? Why would you be looking to divide that much? You would actually be going backwards because the closer you get to Yah, the closer you get to the source and the source is the source of all. You know, there's a reason why certain people are extremely popular. And there's also a reason why, you know, certain people are not popular but they have more power because your truth does not your truth and your power does not stand on popularity and how many people agree with you i mean it's almost and it's, it's almost embarrassing because they the people who in, in are involved in all of this and are actually puppets See, there's some woke puppets. Whatever, again, whatever woke means, there's some woke puppets out there that are just as bad as TV and mass media. They are a distraction. They always talk about the Illuminati. They always talk about what the man doing. They always talking about what you should be scared of next. They always talking about discrimination and who was what and who was not and who's who was chosen. I never talk about who's not chosen. Why? Why, why would I talk about who's not chosen? I'm speaking to the correct, 
to, to the people who are corrected, to the people who are ascending. That's who I'm involved with. So why as, as woke people do we speak about those who are not? Unless it directly involves us. Then you get these super fans. How can you be a super fan of another being? You a super fan of a woke YouTuber or a woke Instagrammer or a woke blogger, vlogger, somebody who come out with these products that sell you, they brand themselves. That's idolatry. You're sending your energy and you're sending a cornucopia of energy to these people every day and you don't even know them. You didn't never shake their hand. You didn't never give them a meal and they never fed you either. But you a super fan and it's more than support. It's more than support. When you, when it's you got to know the difference between supporting somebody and worshiping somebody. I support my family members. What would you do for your family members and then look at how your way you treat your favorite blogger, rapper, a woke rapper, woke blogger, woke vlogger, woke YouTuber? Just think about it. Just think about it. Your brothers and sisters and mama and uncles, they post stuff on Facebook too. You just go straight past that. But you but you got all those notification bells rung. And you're gonna get all their merchandise and you're gonna donate all your money, just like a church. See, woke I thought woke was supposed to get away from the church mentality. I, I mean, isn't that what what the woke community was about? Really being free in spirituality, but then you get so spiritual that you're religious again. How does that work? You so spiritual that you are now religious again. YouTube is your church. Facebook is your church. You think just because you're not going to a building, you, you, you're not religious? No, you are religiously watching every video, religiously hitting that subscribe button, religiously hitting that like button. You religiously leaving that comment. You religiously sharing it. That's tithes and offerings. You are, Cause you you paying them, and then you are religiously fighting with the information they gave you that a lot of y'all don't study on your own. Y'all don't have a relationship with y'all. See, you don't even have to pick up a book and know the truth. See, that's how I start, and that's how I finish. I finish with y'all, and I start with y'all. Whatever he say, he'll bring a book to me to confirm what he already taught me when I sat down and I shut the hell up and I listened to him. Y'all listen straight to these YouTubers. Y'all don't have no connection with Yahweh Yah. So think about what you really got going on. If, if that's your religion, then who are you worshiping? Come on, man. And if you subscribe to me, you're not, you're not subscribing to me. You subscribing to the Black Native channel, which is just a classroom for those who are becoming a complete being. All praise to Yahweh Yah, Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? My one true creator gives me this information. I do my best to put it out there. I don't care about being famous for this stuff. Who cares about being famous? It's about ascension. That's where y'all messed up at. Y'all want to be the next Jesus Christ. Y'all want to be the next Martin Luther King. Y'all want to be the next Malcolm X. Y'all want to be the next Gandhi. Well, what about the dude you never heard of who ascended? Who going to be him? The dude you never seen in your life, but he mastered the elements. Who gonna be him? You just won't be another politician. Y'all woke people, please keep y'all wokeness over there and then clean it up, man. I'm support. I want y'all to do good, man. I, we 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 in this together. I'm not mad at y'all, but I'm just I see I see certain things that make me not even want to be considered woke. Like I'm not woke. I'm a black native. I'm just a I'm just a man. I'm just man doing my best to get up out of this dimension. That's it. Just complete my purpose based upon my divine design. That's it. But it's my advice to anybody after saying all of that about the woke community cuz there is a lot of good. You got to treat everything in your life. Every community, every group, every study, every religion like a fish with bones. 
eat the meat, let the bone let let the bones go. Let it go. Also, you got to have discretion. You got to be discreet about what you let in your life. You got to filter it out. Then you got to have discernment. You got to be able to say, well, this is good. This is bad. This is right. This is wrong. That's discernment. This is evil. This is righteousness. Then you got to be disciplined. Practice, 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 and apply to your life what Yahweh Yah is directly showing you. And sometimes you got to be alone. A lot of the times you got to be alone. Look at the people in the Bible. Moses had to get alone. Uh, Jesus had to get alone. People have to be alone to reach Yah. So these communities are just hubs and anything could be corrupted and perverted, y'all. Especially something that's online. I love y'all. This your boy, Black Native, AK. This your boy, St. Piper, AK Black Native. I love y'all, man. If you like this video, you can subscribe if you want to become a black native. It just allows you to see more of these lessons that I give out, okay? It's not about me being a YouTuber, but if you want this information, you should subscribe because it will keep you, you know, not forgetting about the channel. You know, I post new stuff. If you feel like somebody could benefit from this, share this video with them. If you want to learn something else, you could ask me a question in the comment section. I'm going to do my best to present that same question to y'all. And when he gives me an answer, whether it's no answer or an answer, I will present that answer to the, to the channel. We can all learn together. All right. Like this video if you want to show your appreciation. That's all. That's just to show your appreciation. Dislike this video, that's on you, man. Don't do nothing if you feel moved to do nothing. But this is what I had to say. I love y'all. I Much success, much peace to everybody out there. I'm listening to my jazz. Right, and I'm so relaxed. Life is good. Let's keep moving forward. I have no ill uh, intent towards any specific YouTube out there. I don't beef. It's not nobody. I got no problem with nobody. But this is just some of the stuff I wished, I desired to express today. And I did it. I did it and I did it with a purpose. Y'all got great things to accomplish. Focus on yourselves. Sometimes you got to be outside the pack. All right. Love y'all. But y'all how y'all.